If stopping new coal is the global warming movement's top priority, a close second is jump-starting a beyond petroleum transport system. They propose to do this by tightening new car fuel economy standards. Why? A car that gets more miles to the gallon emits less CO2 per mile. But the federal fuel economy program, also known as CAFE, has serious downsides. Now, there are lots of problems with fuel economy mandates. Um, for one thing, they raise new car prices. Secondly, they restrict consumer choice. But the worst thing is in the fact that you never hear their advocates talking about namely fuel economy mandates kill people. Here's why. Heavier cars provide more mass to absorb collision forces and bigger cars provide more space between the occupant and the point of impact. Make a car smaller and lighter and it will go farther on a gallon of gas. But you also make it less safe. According to the National Academy of Sciences, the current CAFE standards by downsizing cars contribute to about 2,000 fatalities per year. Legislation Congress passed in December 2007 requires a 40% increase in fuel economy by 2020. In 2007, only two out of 1,153 vehicle models met the new standards, so expect more downsizing in the years ahead. Another beyond petroleum policy is to require the sale of alternative fuels. In December 2007, Congress also mandated that motor fuel producers sell 36 billion gallons of ethanol all a year by 2022, with 15 billion gallons coming from corn kernels. The result? We're diverting massive quantities of grain from food to auto fuel. This contributes to the surge in global grain prices that is pushing millions of the world's poorest people to the brink of starvation. But at least ethanol cuts down on CO2 emissions, right? Actually, no. As we expand the cropland, then we get into the real trouble because we release the greenhouse gas that's stored in the soil as carbon. And with corn, we release twice as much gas as we'd have released if we'd burned gasoline in the first place.